Hi, I'm Glyn Jewis. I'm a portrait photographer from the UK, and I'm currently over here in Ohio doing some filming at Westcott, obviously. Now, one of the things before I came out here was I thought it'd be really cool if we could do some kind of themed or project-based photo shoots, and I thought it may be something like an American Civil War. So we did a little bit of research. I've had a look, look on uh, Pinterest for the kind of looks that would be good to recreate while we're over here. And as it happens, there are some folks out there that do reenactments. So we've got one of the guys who's going to be in here. We're going to do a photo shoot. We've had a look on Pinterest for the kind of pictures that we want to do with him. Uh, and we're going to keep to a classic kind of Rembrandt style of lighting. Now you'll see from the setup, it is like a Rembrandt style of lighting. We're using a nice large uh, octa. We've got a nice gray backdrop. The backdrop there is the vintage canvas, gray, Glyn Jewis tile. Uh, <laughs> got to get that in. Uh, but we're going to keep the lighting nice and simple. But I guess one thing I want to kind of get across in this video is that when you are working with people, as the photographer, I think sometimes we can sometimes think that maybe we know it all but it's maybe best to have a little bit of humility when you're working with somebody that's really into this kind of stuff, as, you, as Tyler is with this uh, reenactment, he knows the kind of pictures and the kind of poses and whatever that would be really authentic because we want to create something that's authentic. We can get so much off Pinterest, but nothing beats actually speaking to the people who really know it. So we're going to speak to Tyler. He's brought a load of different kind of looks that we can kind of work on. And I'll speak to him and say, look, what do you think a pose would be like? What kind of pictures do you want? Then I know that he's going to be really into it. He's going to be on board and we're going to get the kind of pictures that we want. Now, one other little thing with that is, if the lighting is going to be remaining the same, then you know, make, make the most use of the time that you've got. Tyler, I know, has brought a variety of different kind of clothing kind of looks that he's brought in here. It takes moments for him to go and get changed. So make the use of it, get him to change into it, because then you've got a variety. Get different poses. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. Get him looking at the camera, looking over the camera. So make, you know, make use of it. Maybe even just get your camera rather than being planted in one position, move it around a bit. Because although you've got that lighting set up, it's amazing the difference. Just moving your camera, just maybe one foot to the left or one foot to the right can completely change that look. So that's the kind of thing I like to do. This is the kind of stuff that really does float my boat when we're photographing projects. Because these people are really into it and they really do want to get pictures. There's an untapped resource out there, people who are into this kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be people who do uh, kind of reenactments. It could be people who train, go to the gym. There is a real untapped resource out there. If you can kind of tap into that, you've got an unlimited amount of people that you can photograph. But what I will say is before you request them, because they're going to get a lot of people asking them if they can take their pictures, give them an idea of what it is that you want to do with them. Rather than just verbally saying it, try and find a picture you think, I'd love to recreate something like that show them and say, this is what I'd love to do with you, then they will be totally on board. Because I know that in the past, when I've kind of photo uh, wanted to speak to somebody and photograph them, it's kind of 50-50 whether they're going to turn up or not. But when they know what they're going to get, you're not the only one that's excited. They are as well, because they can see what they're going to get by the end of that particular photo shoot. So that's how I do it. That's how I get people excited, by having shown them what I want to do. I like to work with people who've got projects. But what about you? Is there anything that you've maybe done that kind of guarantees that the people are going to turn up? Is it that you guarantee to give them a print or maybe even a file with that image on it? I don't know. But let us know in the comments section. I'd really be interested to find that out.